Did you know that Ryan Gosling hated Rachel McAdams while shooting The Notebook? And that's not the only movie romance that was far from reality. Here are eight iconic movie couples that couldn't stand each other. On the set of The Tourist, Angelina Jolie hated Johnny's haircut, and he, well, pretty much hated her. Nobody could have told after watching their amazing chemistry on screen that these two actually despised each other. Still, their disagreements were incredibly tame compared to The Notebook co-stars. Indeed, Ryan Gosling and Rachel McAdams were kind of in a very loud ongoing conflict during the whole shooting. These two had screaming matches quite regularly on set. The craziest part is that they dated for four years after filming ended. But as you could guess, that relationship didn't last. Another love story that didn't exist in real life was the one of Leonardo DiCaprio and Claire Dane on the set of Romeo and Juliet. This movie, which originally aired in the late 90s, saw a real-life battle between the Montagues and the Capulets, as Leonardo and Claire hardly spoke to each other. There might have been an age gap between the pair, but Claire thought Leonardo was too childish and he thought she was too uptight. Luckily, unlike their characters, they made it out alive. And while we're talking about non-existent love, did you know that Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon hated each other so much that Reese refused to film a love scene with him while filming Four Christmases? Seriously, they had to remove it from the movie scripts. Vince later took his revenge by not turning up to the movie premiere or take part in any PR afterwards. If you think that's bad, wait until you hear about Jennifer Aniston and Jay Moore's struggles on the set of Picture Perfect. Because apparently, Jennifer was so mean to young Jay that he would regularly go and cry at his mother's house. All because Jennifer's then-boyfriend Tate Donovan was overlooked for the part. I don't know about you, but if Jennifer didn't like me, I would cry too. We're here for you, Jay. Anyway, just like Jennifer and Jay, Julia Roberts and Nick Nolte also had some quote-unquote personal differences. They basically couldn't stand each other. Julia once went on record with the New York Times to say that Nick was, quote, disgusting and liked to, quote, repel people. I'm not sure what it was about movies in the 90s because the co-stars always seemed to dislike each other. Luckily, the movie I Love Trouble wasn't very successful, so we're unlikely to ever see them work together again. Okay, you may want to sit for this next one. Remember Dirty Dancing? Of course you do. Well, it would seem that Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey did not like each other. In fact, they would regularly argue on set. Patrick didn't really like how much Jennifer struggled with choreography and found her mood swings to be tedious. No wonder there was so much passion on screen. Well, if we're talking about passion, we shouldn't forget Pierce Brosnan and Terry Hatcher. As the pair worked together on the set of Tomorrow Never Dies, Pierce hated that Terry was always late to recordings, but he later found out that she was pregnant at the time and felt awful. I bet that hasn't stopped Terry from giving him a piece of her mind. And who can forget that iconic slap? So there you have it. Eight co-stars who can't stand each other in real life, but managed to make us believe they were the best of friends. Can you think of any other co-stars who don't get along? Let us know in the comments section.